morning guys today we are making the traditional South African ace custard now I don't know if there's English name for it but if you directly translate it it's a fridge tart it's really lovely for a very hot day um, today it's going to be 36 degrees Celsius here in Western Australia so that's why I'm making it yeah. You need um, a tin of crushed pineapple. Now we don't get the big tins, so I'm just getting two small or medium sized crushed pineapple pieces. You need a tin of evaporated milk. You need a packet of lemon jelly. You need a tin of passion fruit, pulp in a, in a syrup. You need two packets of, I'm using scotch finger. In South Africa you will use um, tennis biscuits. We don't have that yet, so I use scotch finger. Two packets of that. You won't use it all, but anyway. A pot can opener, cup of water, a jug and your blender and just a big bowl to put your final pudding in because it's like a, it's a pudding it's lovely okay so the first step is to add your cup of water into a pot with one cup of this pineapple juice. Well, I've taken out a can opener, but actually I don't need one for this lovely tins. So I'm just pouring out my pineapple juice into the cup. making sure I get as much of it out okay the one is crushed and the other one is pieces. We actually want pieces. So this is a bit of a disaster. It won't make any difference to the pudding really. To the milk, uh, to, to the fridge tart. It might actually be nicer. I've never actually had it crushed. It might just be quite a nice combination to have the crushed and the pieces but the recipe in all reality calls for the pieces that's why I enjoy this tart in summer especially on a very hot day because the pineapple is super refreshing okay so we've got a cup of pineapple juice there then you add the cup of pineapple juice also into the pot and then you put your jelly in now we're going to heat this on the stove we literally only want to melt the jelly we don't want to boil it so don't bring it to the boil keep it on your lowest heat just stir it occasionally to make sure that the jelly has dissolved okay so 
so I'm going to put this on the stove. At a very low heat. Okay, so that is slowly busy melting. It's actually melted. Right, so the next step is to um, open our can of evaporated milk. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. I always struggle with this thing. Okay. We put that into our jug. And now you're going to beat it or whip it until it's double in its size. Now, don't do what I do. I'm well versed and well experienced in putting my blender in my jug. Turning it on and I tend to leave it because it doesn't go anywhere so I'll just put it on the side. Right, this is doubled in size. So what you do now is you get your jelly. Add your jelly in here. Make sure you use a big enough bowl or jar because it will get quite full. Then you add your pineapple. for me with a crushed pineapple but I think it's going to be extra lovely actually. I said earlier on that it's a disaster having bought the wrong one but I actually think it's going to be so much nicer. Then you add your passion fruit which gives it quite a bit of a tangy taste but it is just too gorgeous. You stir all that in The jelly will make it set. As I say, make sure you've got a big enough container. Because it does get full. Right. Now I've gone ahead. And what you do. You take your biscuits and you put a layer of your biscuits into your container. So I've layered my biscuits, then you scoop some of this stuff in here. It is a very easy tart or recipe, pudding, whatever you wish to call it. It's very easy to make it. When it's all covered and you've got a nice thick layer, you repeat the process. So I'm putting whoops, another layer of biscuits on here. which biscuits are going to be the best ones in your country. South Africa, um, the tennis biscuits are the best and here in Australia, because we don't get tennis biscuits here, I use the scotch fingers. Uh, you'll have to look for a biscuit that can draw moisture. So if you're going to take something and have it with a cup of tea or coffee, 
and you dunk it into your coffee, it's going to actually soak up some of the coffee. And that's the kind of biscuit you want to use for this recipe. So just play around with the biscuits you've got and see which one will work the best for you. The main idea is for it to be able to soak up. And there you go, you're almost done. Now the last step. I've put three biscuits in a little jiffy bag and now don't laugh again don't laugh I don't have a rolling pin this is my rolling pin so I just smash it down a little bit And this rolling pin of mine has been tried and tested and it works perfectly fine and there's no need for me to go and spend goodness knows how many dollars just on a rolling pin. Uh, when I got married a few years ago I was looking for a rolling pin because I made my own wedding cake. Maybe for the fun of it I might insert it in the video here just so you can see. And I didn't have a rolling pin and I went to go buy one and I nearly fell on my back when I saw the prices so I have just decided that's it I'm not spending that money on a rolling pin and as far as I can as far as I'm concerned my cake came out fine okay so I've just made that fine and all you do is you sprinkle that over the top. You see, you can do things the inexpensive way. You don't always have to do things the most expensive way. We, we have a lot of things at our availability and at, at our fingertips that we can use instead of spending a lot of money. So I do like to find ways of doing things a cheaper inexpensive way with things that I've got at hand um, or things that I am given or things that I can pick up locally um, so there's your end product now it's still wobbly so it's gonna go in the fridge that's why it's called the fridge dart um, it's gonna go in the fridge I make this early in the morning and then it's ready by dinner time this is not a tart that you can cut like a cheesecake or anything like that because of the big pieces of pineapple in it so you, you can't cut it you actually have to serve it like with a big spoonful on someone's plate tonight when I have my lovely fridge tart I'll take a photo of what it looks like when you put it on your plate. I hope you enjoy this recipe. It's beautiful, it's so refreshing, it's wonderful for very hot weather. Please um, press the little button there in the corner, the little wagon wheel and subscribe. Thank you for watching another episode by Wagon Wheel Homestead. Bye!